Currently, our manned aerial vehicle range and endurance is limited by the amount of energy that can be stored on board. One solution to this problem is to autonomously dock with another UAV in mid-air to refuel or recharge. But to the best of our knowledge, UAV airborne docking had not been demonstrated prior to these experiments in November 2014. Our problem consists of two UAVs in the leader follower configuration. The leader is towing a tethered drogue and the follower aims to dock its nose within the drogue. A series of homogeneous infrared markers are positioned at the extremities of the leader and around the circumference of the drogue. The markers are observed by an infrared camera which is mounted at the front of the follower. Each UAV has inertial, GPS, barometric pressure and differential pressure sensors on board and this information is shared in real time through a wireless data link. Each aircraft contains a formation flight computer, which runs the relative guidance and navigation algorithms to generate low-level commands such as bank angle, airspeed, and altitude. An in-house developed autopilot tracks these external commands and transmits sensor and state data back to the formation flight computer. Additionally, the leader contains a set of active infrared markers. The follower has an infrared camera and dedicated computer to extract the marker centroids from each frame. The formation flight computers communicate wirelessly and a ground station displays telemetry from each aircraft as well as allowing configuration to be uploaded in flight. During flight testing, the leader is commanded to follow a fixed path at a constant altitude and airspeed. The onus is on the follower to perform the mission. Once the relative navigation solution covariance is sufficiently low, the follower can transition to a pre-contact position. Here, the follower observes both the leader and the drogue to correct the state of each and estimate the aerodynamic coefficients of the drogue. To do this, the infrared vision system extracts the marker centroids, then the correspondence determination algorithm determines which markers are likely to belong to the leader, which specific markers they are, and which are likely to be the drogue. Once the drogue state estimate covariance is sufficiently low, docking is attempted. A successful docking is signaled when the magnetometer in the nose of the follower detects the magnets inside the drogue. Vehicle dynamics can also be used to detect docking. Once docked, the follower is commanded to station keep for a prescribed amount of time to simulate refueling or recharging. Finally, the follower disconnects and resumes its mission.